Welcome back everybody to the Law Unscripted video review series. Today we are tackling part one of three of contracts. Yes, very, very exciting. Um, so with that, yes, it's the Uniform Commercial Code, the UCC, which is the federal law. Some states have different or, yeah, they have different interpretations. They'll add rules, but overall commerce is you know, dealt with, there's international commerce. Constitutional law deals a lot with interstate commerce. And what's happening are these are contracts and sales of goods across interstate commerce, even if they're being sold within a state. So a lot of these UCC rules, they really apply in the states too, versus the criminal law where you've got the, you know, sample criminal code, and then you've got the ethics one, which is this, you know, model code, the model penal code, the model ethics, you know, professional rules of conduct, and states really adopt their own. This is very different. Um, So that's where we're coming with. We also have the common law, which is what you were talking about, where it's like- 1,800 rules. (laughs) We've got everything from all the way back. To yes. the formation of the country, practically. Basically, yeah. Um, of course, it's like all of the train cases. And for contracts, oh it's gosh. like people moving across the country to the Wild West a lot. Right. Like your wheelbarrow, your yes. <laughs> your wagon train. <laughs> right. It's like the Oregon Trail. Like anything you'd find on there, this is what we're dealing with. Exactly. And, you know, I probably <laughs> – speaking of the Oregon Trail – um. <laughs> I would not have made it just as a random aside. Um, my husband and I joke all the time that I, I would have died before it began. I like, and if I made it, I would have died in 18 different ways. I would have been bitten by that snake. I would have gotten tuberculosis. I would have gotten dysentery, like all of these things. I would have just died over and over and over. I would not have made it to the other side. I don't, yeah. If someone was like, Hey, we're going to move but we have to go on a, like a, a trek. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm going to opt out now. I'm, I will not be doing that. <laughs> it doesn't matter what warranties they give you. <laughs> no, I will not be doing that. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, but what, you know, we're going to think of those rules from the Wild yes. West um, mm-hmm. because we're going to do, we're going to enter a contract and truly what we're going to do is basic behavior. Don't think of this as contract. Think of this as everyday behavior. Yeah. All right. So we have literally, what are the three things that you have to have for formation? Offer, consideration, acceptance. Yeah. Ooh, look, I know something. <laughs> you do. And everybody, if you do not use those words in your exams, whether it's your law school exams yeah. or the bar exam, if you get one of these in an essay, you have got to use those words. Oh, there's the secret fourth one, the mutual assent. There we go. Oh, That's yeah. what I'm thinking too. Some, okay, because I think I was taught – you said three, and I was like, that I did. Because I think they we did four, but it's the same – I mean, consideration, mutual assent. I don't really understand how they're much different, but in theory they are. In practice, I don't get it. At least do the basic three, guys. Um, do those basic three. And then if you add in mutual consent, you know, the more words, the better, but always remember just because you're using a word doesn't mean you get points. You have to use it the right way. Um, so at least go with Chelsea's vibes (laughs) and the, the words with it, (laughs) you might be okay. Though the other thing that I'll say as an overall is I have not seen, um, I took the first, the first bar I took was in 2005. Mm -hmm. Um, I took the next one in 2015. Um, and even in my practices, even in my reviews, even in looking at it over these years, going through the other programs, um, it is rare for contracts to be an essay question. Yeah. Um, and if it is, it is more likely to be in your practice the MPT part of it. Yeah. Um, That is more likely where you're going to get a contract question is in that where they say, you know, write a memo about whatever. 
that's going to be like, oh, well, so-and-so wanted to contract for, or it's going to be more in a property issue where you're going to throw that in too. So watch for them, but they're more likely to be a piece of or just a part of another essay subject than on its own. I'm not saying it will never happen, so be prepared just in case. And you have to know it yeah. for the multi-state. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's one of the main subjects for the multi-state. So you've got to know it, but just be be aware that it's, and of course, if you're a law student, it's going to be on your essay. <laughs>